Hey everybody, today is Wednesday, November 6th, 2013. It's me, DG Tronic, and I'm back with an Android review video. Okay, so, even though the Play Store and I guess Google consider launchers, applications, I don't really think of them as apps. Um, even though they are in the app store, I don't know, to me it seems like they are kind of part of the OS, or they revise the OS a little bit. So, anyways, I finally got tired of Samsung's TouchWiz UI, and I decided to try another launcher, and as soon as I tried Smart Launcher, I absolutely fell in love with it and I tried the free version after a few minutes I decided right away you know what I'm gonna pay for the full version so I got the full version of Smart Launcher Pro and let me quickly give you a tour of what it's like this is heavily customized by the way this does not look like what you will get at the beginning I customized everything myself but what you do get is a transparent top bar, which is awesome. An awesome text for the time and the date, which by the way, if you click on the date, will take you straight to the calendar. And if you click on the time, it takes you to your clock application, which is really cool. And when you're setting it up, at the beginning when you're setting it up it gives you an option to choose five apps so it will make you this ring of shortcuts for five apps that you use the most as you can see right now I have more than five apps because once you're done with setting it up you can customize it and add other apps or take away some of the apps and just do whatever you want and the way you would do that is close to the ring area long press on the screen and you get these three options, the lock, the plus sign in the middle, and that other option on that side. I don't know what the lock does, to be honest with you. I try locking it, and I know for sure it doesn't lock the phone, and I know it doesn't lock the screen orientation. So I'm not sure what the purpose of the lock is, and I know you can still change these and run these apps. So, you know... Honestly, I don't know what the lock is for, but I'll quickly show you the other two options. You want to change some of these, right, or add different apps. You click on that middle sign. You have these options, dialer, music, web browser, gallery, messages, camera, email, other activity or shortcut. I went to other activity to get the list of all my apps. And that's how I customize that ring. You click any of these and it'll add it to the ring. Let's say I want to watch Twit Pro all the time. So I click that and it's added to the ring now. On the very top. That's cool and that's awesome. Let's try that third option over there. That is for ch changing your wallpapers. And that's what I've done, is added a live wallpaper. Let's change that live wallpaper to, let's say, this one. Okay. Set wallpaper. There you go. I just changed things up a little bit. Let's say you want to access your other apps that are not your shortcuts. You just simply click here on that. And it gives you your apps in categories that are pre-made. Communication, Internet, Games, Media, Utility, and Settings. So, okay, well, let's say that there is an app that you don't think belongs in the category that it's been put 
let's say Pinterest, I don't want it in communication. I want it in, I don't know, maybe media. I long press on the icon and I get two options to begin with, to start the app, which basically just opens it, to uninstall the app or to kill the app. So three options there, or I can just drag the icon to any of the categories I want. Let's say in this case, media. I want it there. Okay, so now it's not in communication anymore. And if I go to media, there is Pinterest. Um, and you have these shortcuts in each category up top. Preferences, the Google Play Store shortcut, and the search icon. You can search quickly. Let's say you have an app that starts with, um, I don't know, P. Gives you all the ones with P. All right. Let's say you want to search an app that you don't really quite remember how it's spelled, but you know it starts with N. There you go. There's these apps right there, which is really cool and really awesome. Anyways, let's see if there's anything else I want to show you guys. Oh, there's widgets. Your widgets. And the way you add them is through that right there, that plus sign. And here's a list of widgets that you can add. And back on the home screen, you want to change your settings maybe. You click on the settings uh, button and you get these options now. Wallpaper, original Android settings, or preferences for this launcher. And here are the preferences for this launcher. Settings, themes, widget support, gestures, plugins, rate on the Play Store and version info. This by the way is version 1.10.20. It's by Gin Lemon or Gin Lemon. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Anyways, I'm not going to go into too much detail. Again, it's called Smart Launcher Pro, as you can see in both orientations. Let me show you the app organizer in this orientation now, quickly. It's just awesome, and I really, really like it. <sighs> Smart Launcher Pro. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash dgtronic. Subscribe to my YouTube channel right here at youtube.com slash dgtronic. Give me suggestions. Um, if you are an app developer for Android or iOS, drop me a line at jobs.videoman at gmail.com or on my YouTube channel, contact me, send me the promo code for your app. I will download it and review it on video just like this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.